What's going on YouTube? Professor McCullough here. Now in this video, I'm going to give you a nice simple explanation of glycolysis, including all the steps. And it's going to be kind of in the form of an analogy. So uh, let's get right into it. Glycolysis is defined as the breakdown of glucose into two molecules of pyruvate. Now glucose has six carbon atoms. And the idea is that you want to split those six carbon atoms into two sets of three carbon atoms. Pyruvate has three carbon atoms. All right, so I got a story for y'all, all right? Here we go. Oh, also, real quick, make sure that you guys pay attention to the names I'm gonna be giving at the bottom of the screen. Those are gonna be the names of the actual molecules that the process is going through instead of an abbreviation. We're gonna call glucose, we're gonna call glucose the glucose twins, okay? They're gonna be twins. The main goal of these twins as they make it through life is that they want to become pirates when they grow up. But see, here's the thing. These are conjoined twins, all right? So the glucose twins are conjoined or Siamese twins. So the first thing that they have to do to pursue their dreams is they have to split apart, okay? And it costs two ATPs for them to split apart. Now this is represented as two steps in one actually, but in both steps, one ATP is going to be used so that this phosphorus group is going to be placed on the carbon and you need it on both sides all right so just call it p-surgery so the glucose twins they need p-surgery in order you know to become two different individuals all right the result is this molecule here fructose 1,6 biphosphate because you have the phosphates on the first carbon and the sixth carbon. So fructose one six biphosphate. And because of the P surgery, they're gonna actually split apart. So now the Siamese twins are they're on their on their own. And the idea is that since they're on their own and they're twins, they're pretty much gonna live out the same life. Alright? So here, the next step is becoming a molecule called G3P. And you're gonna remember G3P because after they split apart, they become grown, so grown is G, and it's three carbon molecules. Three carbon molecules and their people, so G3P is the next step. All right, notice how this phosphorus is here too. Now, they're trying to become pirates, and the first job that they get trying to become pirates, they're on a ship and they become cabin boys. So they're cabin boys, but they don't really like that job. So they're like, nah, I don't really like this job. Remember. Um, you have an electron carrier here, NADH. Anytime um, they say nah, that's going to release an NADH, and that's going to be using the electron transport chain. All right? So they're like, nah, I don't like this job. But then they got a promotion. So now we have to add a phosphate. They got a promotion, and we added a phosphate, and now we became BPG. And it's two phosphates on each. So they said, nah, I don't like this job. Then they got a promotion. Now, BPG is going to stand for Baby Pirate Gang, all right? So they, they initiate, they're initiated into the Baby Pirate Gang. And it was a whole lot of energy being in the Baby Pirate Gang. But um, they put a lot of work in. So that's how you're going to remember this is the first ATP harvest step. Now, remember, we took two ATPs to start glycolysis, but we just got two back, all right, with this step. So they went from the baby pirate gang, they put in work, they put in energy, right? And now the, the main pirate, or whoever you want to call it, he only chose three people to be in the pirate gang. So now 3PG is a three pirate gang, okay? Going on down. One day the ship crashed. And when a ship crashes, it starts to flood. So they had to take buckets and had to throw out all the water. So you're going to remember 3PG to PEP. This is the water release step. All right. And now that they did such a good job throwing out the water, they become PEPs. Okay. PEP is going to stand for pre-employed pirate. So they're not pirates yet, but they're pre-employed pirates. All right. So to celebrate... They put in a lot of energy to celebrate, and at the end of the celebration, they became pirates or pyruvate. And just like that, you should be able to answer pretty much any question on glycolysis. All you have to do 
is look at what the question is asked and match it up about where it is in the story. Okay, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time for another one.